was that he was using camping. <coughs> All right. Good morning, everybody. I mean, good evening. Uh, it's little nacht. So a lot of people have a custom not to learn Torah tonight. They're really um, in Satmer, interestingly, even though Satmer, we think of it as Hungary, and Hungary is a Catholic country, but it's in present day Romania, which is, it sounds strange to us, you would think Romania is Roman Catholic, but it's actually Romanian Orthodox, it's actually an Orthodox Christian country. So in, in Satmer, they actually keep the second little. And in uh, Vizhnitz, because they were like on the border, and they were both Catholics and Orthodox Christians, they keep they keep both nittles. <coughs> the one that probably upsets me the most is Lubavitch, because Lubavitch, uh, obviously in Russia, was a uh, an Orthodox country. So. If that's the case, so why um, why do they keep the first nittel? The answer is Lubavitch Rebbe, the last one who called himself Lubavitch Rebbe, um, said, no, you should follow uh, whatever is the predominant observance of Christmas in the country where you reside. So in Russia, they would keep the second one, but in America, they keep the first nittle. The interesting thing is, because I work together with, with an Orthodox Christian priest, and he, he, uh, he told me that today in America, most Orthodox Christians observe the first Christmas. Um, according to the Gregorian calendar instead of according to the Julian calendar. Now, uh, what we have to be clear about is on the Julian calendar, um, the day that is on the Gregorian calendar, January 7th, is actually on the Julian calendar, December 25th. So it's not really a change so much. Uh, the Pascha, the, the Eastern Orthodox Christmas, I mean the Eastern Orthodox um, Easter, that they still observe on a different day. I, I, I said not too nice of a joke uh, to my friend, the, uh, the priest. Um, he was talking something about going to his family for Thanksgiving. So I asked him, oh, is the... Uh, is the Orthodox Christian Thanksgiving a week later than, than the regular Thanksgiving? He, he got the joke, he didn't appreciate it too much. Anyway, um, to me, you know, if we're remembering bad things that happened in the past, which are not happening today, Hashem, but we we're friends with, with our Christian neighbors in a way that never was before. Um, not never was, but generally was not. Um, why should we observe, I, I'm very upset with what the Lubavitcher Rebbe said, you know, why should we observe Nittel in the, in the day when our neighbors are celebrating? Um, you know, that seems to be somewhat disrespectful. It's not, you know, we, we, we don't have pogroms and things like that like they were in the old days in America. You know, so, for that reason, I prefer uh, to keep the second nittle <coughs> to remember the past, not to make any comments about the present, but that being said, I still more or less, you know, I'm an Amaretz, I don't really like to learn that much, that's not true. I mean, I am an Amaretz, but I, I love to learn. But uh, I, generally, I'll keep both nittel nacht. Like, uh, the closest Hasidish Rebbe to where I live is, is the vision it's her, So it's, uh, I'm in his territory, maybe, in Sullivan County. Um, 
That being said, I know Alpi Halacha is problematic, most likely to say Merry Christmas. But Alpha Pi Chain, I and many other Jews who are religiously, who are politically conservative, uh, feel that it's it's insulting to our Christian neighbors to insist on this happy holiday stuff. And that actually we should say Merry Christmas to our Christian neighbors. And also, that being said, there's, there's a problem with happy holidays. It's somehow saying that Christmas and Hanukkah have something in common, which they don't. You know, they don't have anything to do with each other, really. Although, most likely, the day when the temple was defiled was probably the Saturnalia, which was a Roman holiday, a Greco-Roman holiday. I, don't, I know that's what the, the Romans called it, I'm not sure what, which is, which is Christmas. Gemara in the Vedizara tells us that actually Adam, Adam Arishon, the first man, was the one who came up with celebrating a holiday four days after winter solstice, December 25th, because he assumed that the days were getting shorter, meant eventually it's just going to be total darkness and he's going to die. And when he saw after the solstice that the days started to get longer, although there are issues with that because we say a lot of the issues with the, the way that the seasons go really didn't happen until the, after the flood. And, uh, so it's a medrash, it's not necessarily historically true. Um, but that being said, so the Gemara says that when Adam invented the first Christmas, <laughs> it was for the sake of God, to worship God. And then the Romans turned it into a day of of evil, of, of idolatry. That being said, essentially, the Christians still, essentially, they worship the same God as us, just in a different way. The method of Avoida is, it contains Zaros. It is, it is a foreign form of worship, even if they're worshiping the same deity. It depends on sometimes which type of Christians we're talking about. And even among certain uh, certain groups that are known to be more idolatrous in their approach, still, among their ranks, there are individuals who um, who uh, don't adopt so much of an idolatrous uh, approach. They see, you know, although their method of worship is still idolatrous, perhaps. Um foreign, for sure. Um, but it's a, a definitely an improvement, like the Rambam said, over the old Roman celebrations, which were filled with debauchery, and even how Christians observe this day uh, not too long ago. And the American Christmas is rather different than the old European Christmas. And in many ways, uh, that has influenced the Europeans as well. And you don't have the debauchery and pogroms and things that you had in the old times, even in Europe. Um, that being said, There's another issue. We're Americans. America is a Christian country. As much as a lot of people don't like to say that, it is. And Christmas is a national holiday in America. Like Dennis Prager said, you know, when to the pro even though it's not Christmas is not my holy day. As I am a Jew, it is still my holiday as an American. What would be the significance of that? <coughs> I, my answer would be that non-Christians in America 
should, although we should not be celebrating Christmas as a holy day, including the secular things of putting up a Christmas tree and so forth. It's inappropriate, and it's disrespectful to Christians. But to put up the American flag, as is the, the flag etiquette on any national holiday, um, most certainly uh, is appropriate. And what is the reason for that? And my answer is as follows. We would not have the freedoms we have today if we didn't live in a Christian country. Jews and Muslims and Hindus and Buddhists who live in America have a freedom that does not exist in other countries. And I say a lot of that has to do because it is a Christian country and Christianity believes in free will. It's not a legalistic religion. Um, and so for that reason, um, observance of Christmas as a secular American holiday including putting up the American flag. I don't see um, any problem with that, and just the opposite. It's, it's part of the story of America. We wouldn't have the freedoms that we have today if we weren't living in a Christian country. You know, with all due respect, I have a lot of Muslim friends, and I, and I have respect for Islam, but the fact is, people live in, in Muslim countries who are not Muslims, or even the not... The, not the right type of Muslims. They don't live the way that Muslims in America live in a Christian country. And the same thing is true even to a certain extent um, with Israel calling itself a Jewish country, even though it's not. I, uh, there's something different about being a non-Jew in Israel than there is about being a non-Christian in America. There's nothing... In Israel, you have different, a different license plate color if you're not a Jew. Other strange things like that that are, I think, are reprehensible. Um, you know, they have the two dot zehut. Uh, also, they have to, I, on their identity cards, they're listed as uh, Jew or Christian or Muslim. I think that's disgusting. And uh, so that's why I'm thankful that I live in America, which is not a Christian state but as a Christian country, and like I said, um, Christmas is a, a national holiday in America, and it's even though it came about later, I believe it was during the presidency of Rutherford B. Hayes, that Christmas became a national holiday, or sometime around that time, maybe it was James Garfield or U.S. Grant, one of those, I don't remember exactly, I think it was Grant, actually, um, but that being said, it's because in early America it wasn't a very popular holiday, um, but now it is, and and even though it's, of course, not the day that that Jesus was born or anything like that, but it is uh, a day that Christians celebrate that, and we wouldn't have Christianity without that, and we wouldn't have America really without that, and so for that reason, I don't have a problem with saying Merry Christmas, so... Um, especially in America, where it really is not as idolatrous as it was in the in the Altaheim. All right, I know uh, this is you know a lot of people disagree with me, and they're probably right. But it's uh, That's what we could say. All right, have a good night, and uh, and be well. Call to her. Thank you.